Welcome back. Now, in some cases, you're going to find it helpful to be able to hardwire to an Ethernet port. And you're looking at a Lightning to USB camera adapter. And one of the reasons why this is going to be helpful, as you can see, is because it has a USB port and it has a Lightning port and it plugs into the Lightning port. Now, you're going to need that USB port if you choose to use the Apple USB Ethernet adapter. Now depending on what level iPhone that you have, you will probably have to go this route. In particular, what makes this combination most acceptable is that the parts are all from Apple and that means that you won't need an app in order to make any of it work. Your iPhone will recognize both of these pieces of hardware. Now if you do an actual search for the words lightning to ethernet adapter, you're going to see several options where you have direct lines to the ethernet through your Apple lightning port. In some cases, you're going to want to make sure that this is what you're going to want to do. It may or may not make it through a combined number of adapters, especially if you're not using Apple parts. So make sure that you research the brand before you purchase it and that you know what your configuration is going to be based on the content you're going to be creating. But if you're just at the point of wanting to upload or wanting to download things from the web, then it can be helpful just to have the lightning port taken by your lightning to ethernet adapter connecting to the internet, and then having a more powerful connection to deliver the files. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.